Hey, this is Pastor Aaron, and this is your midweek encouragement. Hey, I want to talk to you about the power of unity and also the power of divisiveness. You know, the enemy is constantly working to divide us. Divide us by things of the flesh, divide us by our cultural background, divide us by where we grew up, what we think. Even within the church, the enemy is constantly working hard to create division amongst believers because if division can come, unity cannot come. But the greatest strength, according to the word, is unity. You know, God is a God of unity. He unifies us. He causes us to work together. It is unity that he operates in. The Lord works through the Trinity, which is the unity of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so when there is unity in the body, there is great strength and great power. This is why the Bible says that a three-stranded cord cannot easily be broken. But this isn't anything new. In fact, when you go back into the Bible, the same thing happened with the disciples. And I want to read the scripture to you. It's in Luke chapter 9, verse 49 and 50. It says, Now John answered and said, Master, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not forbid him, for he who is not against us is on our side. You know, one of the things growing up in church is that there are a lot of differences between different denominations, between different ways that people like to express their worship. You know, I come from a more charismatic Pentecostal background. We speak in tongues, we lift our hands, we do all these types of things, but yet there are more conservative denominations of Christianity that maybe don't do those types of things. But here's the one thing we have to remember, that different denominations try to come against each other many, many times and focus on these types of details. But remember what Jesus said, if they're not against us, they're for us. You know, the disciples saw somebody who wasn't a part of their group doing it differently. And that's why they probably forbade him and said, don't do that. But yet Jesus didn't do that at all. Jesus said, hey, if they're not against us, they're for us. They're on our side. You know, how many times do we feel this way within the body of Christ? People believe a little bit differently. They do things a little bit differently. But one thing I've learned from all my travels around the world is that when we believe in the unifying power of Jesus Christ, sometimes all that other stuff can just go by the wayside. I don't wanna live my life fighting theologies from different aspects of Christianity. I wanna live my life with Jesus Christ as my savior at the forefront of everything. I do and believe. And you know what? I can get down and friends with anybody who also believes Jesus is their Lord and Savior. So I just want to encourage you with that today. How many times do we feel like we have so many enemies? The enemy is working through divisiveness. But let me tell you, that can put a strain on your uh, walk with Christ if you're not careful. And we see so many things on the internet, so many things out there, but Christ is unifying. You know, you will always win people over when you're working in unity, more so than when you're working through division. So I wanna encourage you with that today. How can you unify with the people around you? How can you look for those that maybe they believe things a little bit different than you, but it doesn't mean that one's better than the other. It just means that we see things from a different angle. If Christ is at the center, Christ is our savior. I'll tell you what, personally, I can get down to that and I pray you can too. I wanna to pray for you right now. Father, every person who's watching this, I bless them in Jesus' name. Encourage them today. Encourage them as they go throughout their work week and school work. And Lord, I thank you that you will do miracles through unity in the body in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I wanna thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for following us. If you haven't done already, subscribe to our channels, follow us on social media. And if you're in the Denver area, always feel free to come visit us at Expect Hope Church, 10 a.m. on Sunday morning. God bless you.